new fan from Team Robo, the Kyocera Hydro Life. So far, so good. It has more than 4 gigabytes of internal memory, which is good for me because I like to put a lot of apps on my phone. It has a pretty good camera. The camcorder, front-facing camera, music player, all the Google apps. It has Lookout, pre-installed. It has um, T-Mobile Live TV. It's free for 30 days, and then you pay, I think, twelve ninety nine a month, which I think I'll try to do. And I already installed apps on this phone. I have over 500 apps. I, like, I go crazy with them. Some good ones. And then some crappy ones. I like to buy a lot of them. See, here's the internal memory here from this cleaner. But you can't see it. Well, it's 4.4 gigabytes. You can't see it from this shot. And I'm going to clear the temporary file. I installed Think Free Office from this from the LG L70, which was my last phone, which broke. And then here's App Monster. I like this one of my favorite paid apps. On certain phones, it doesn't function properly. You got to um, if you have a KitKat version of the phone, it won't work right. It won't install the apps. I mean, back the apps up onto the memory card because KitKat has a limitation where you can't write on the memory card. It kind of sucks. I like Jelly Bean, the latest version of Jelly Bean, because it has the Daydream and everything, and you can install apps from the SD card, and you can back them up onto the SD card, and everything goes onto the SD card, which you don't have to do manually, which is a pain in the ass. <laughs> this is a pretty good phone. It takes a while for App Monster to um, load when you got more than 500 apps, which includes the pre-installed apps. I didn't disable any of them because I got a lot of memory for this one. Here they go. I like this emoji creator game. I mean, that's not a game. It's a, um, you can make the emojis. See there. And you can change his face and eyes. Make it into a girl. And the mouth. In the hand. They don't have none given the finger. No. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this one. And I'm gonna put text message. Oh, whatever. I'm kind of tired, so I'm messing up a little bit. I should be reviewing what's pretty installed on the phone instead of what I installed. And then here's Pet Rescue Saga. That one I can't pronounce at the moment. Bejeweled 2. <laughs> pretty fun. And this. Afterlight is, is a very good um, editor, photo editor. Makeup Premium is pretty interesting. Office Suite is alright. I didn't open the green cards yet. Google Search is good. Chrome, I don't care for that much. Google Plus backs up all your pictures. Instant upload if you turn it on. Dropbox does the same thing, but you can add music. And text and all of that. And then I got the Imagely library. I like images a lot and widgets. I got HD widgets. Pixay, Pix Play Pro. There is an app called Pixay Pro, which I have too. And Facebook, of course. Touch Pal X. Photo Lab Pro. Good photo editor. And then this one, photo editor from Sony. And Puffin Browser. Flippogram. Pretty cool. I like that. I discovered that a couple days ago. My niece, Kayla uses it and I seen her little 
animation on Facebook, and then I got the okay, Pimp Your Screen. It's pretty cool. It's a widget. I didn't open this My Life book yet. Docs is a Google app, and Evernote is everybody knows about Evernote. And then I have stuff icons and the monogram. Monogram. Oh yeah, monogram. Pimp Your Name. iCloud Pro. Photo Studio Pro, Google Keyboard. They claim that has emojis on it, but I can't find them. I must, I'm either stupid or I, I don't see it. And okay, I have an app called Easy PDF Reader, which is good. Photo Studio Pro, HDR Effects Pro, I like that. And Cats of the World Premium, I love this. My cat loves this. It meows. She don't get arrested in start one. She's sleeping, I think. I'm gonna get the boy cat. Oh, she heard that one. That got her attention. She likes the male cat. Sorry for going off the paint, off the uh, screen. And I have PixArt, which is free, but you can buy add-ons. And then I have Facebook Pages Manager. I have a whole bunch of apps here, but leftover. Okay, it comes with the internal memory is 4.42 gigabytes, and I have 1.30 gigabytes left over, which is about 30% of the memory, which is pretty good. And I have Think Think Free Viewer, Be Funky, Peace App, I didn't try, Floating Apps, PDF, Google Play Services, you need that if you have purchased apps, and I have, have I have a lot of purchased apps that I need to use that to get my apps, because I always reset my phone. And this is a good keyboard, AI type keyboard, plus I have a few keyboards, Hangouts, I don't use it really, Adobe Air, it, it's pretty cool. It doesn't work by itself. It it makes apps interesting when I have WhatsApp. I'll do another review in better lighting.